Captain Dungeon was a large, armored mammal, with its rounded, bony shell and squat limbs. It may have lived in areas including north, northeast, and southeast Brazil in environments ranging from forested areas, subforested, too warm and humid, while some might have become accustomed to open, cold areas where grasslands are the most common. The occurrence of the genus has also been observed in the southwestern part of Amazon, which suggests that the wide diversity of the genus was due to the diverse climates within its range. Like most other xenarthrons, glyptodonts had lower energy requirements than most other mammals. They could survive with lower intake rates than other herbivores with similar mass. Glyptodon grazed near water sources such as rivers and lakes. Based on stable isotope analysis, it is evident that its diet consisted primarily of decotyledonous trees and monocotyledonous grasses. Zoologists presume that since the tail of Glyptodon was very flexible and had rings of bony plates, it was used as a weapon in fights. This indicates that Glyptodons fought among themselves. They settled disputes by fighting each other, much like male-to-male -male fighting among deer using their antlers. Although its tail could be used for defense against predators, evidence suggests that the tail of Glyptodon was primarily for attacks on its own kind. Some evidence suggests that humans drove Glyptodon to extinction. In Venezuela, for instance, nomadic hunters were thought to have targeted them as early as 20,000 years ago. These hunters may have used the shells of dead animals as shelters in inclement weather.